Hello friends, my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel. The G-Friend comeback Apple for their album Song of the Sirens is in almost no time at all and I've been excitedly looking at all the new content and releases and wanted to do a fun little breakdown video with what we've gotten and maybe try to predict a few things. I mean, I guess, I guess we'll see about that. Uh, but I did want to talk about some possibilities based on my understanding of the current universe. Since I can sort of see the main theme, this comeback will be encompassing. This comeback will be about temptation and weighing the outcomes of various decisions and their butterfly effects and wondering what's right and what's not. There's also the whole title of the album, which I sort of broke down before about sirens and whatnot, which sort of leads into the more fantastical elements of the G-Friend universe that I wanted to just mention again. Again. Their story is a mix of their own personal problems as a friend group, but also they have elements outside of their control such as outside influences and of course, like I said, fantastical elements like magic. Also in their second teaser that was just released, the lyrics said, The Witch's Night is Coming, which reminds me of the curse that the Labyrinth album's storybook hinted at, where Una wondered if their powers were actually a gift or not. Was the power a blessing or a curse? It could also technically refer to the girls, since they obviously have magic themselves. In that sense, is their knight the one that's coming? I honestly can't wait to find out. But let me dive a bit deeper into some of the stuff that we've seen leading up to this comeback. The Tale of the Glass Bead Butterfly Effect opens with some really interesting artwork, showing six withered flowers, a dead tree with a broken swing, a broken bridge, their journal they wrote together, now wrecked, Una's broken mirror, the bear with its stuffing falling out, their record player from Love Whisper, and a backpack laying forgotten. These are all in past music videos and might reference specific members. We don't see what happens to these necessarily, though it is fairly easy to guess. We saw in Crossroads that they have been fighting, with the reason being given as envy for their powers. Also, in the storybook in Labyrinth, Shinbi is holding the arm of Umji's teddy bear, so something might have happened between them. And a lot of this seems to symbolize their loss of innocence as well. With their school days and childhood behind them, they also leave their memories to waste. The video tells us that they are running, but running from what exactly? It's really unclear right now, but it does make me think of the lyrics in their song for this album, Snow Time. I'm running around not knowing where I am. The pieces of time pass by me, step by step, hiding my fear stumbling while walking in the strong wind. Or the lyrics in Mirror Room, which might connect to Una or Yuju. Running and running again to you in that empty mirror, wandering possessed, resenting me. Why can't you go? It looks the same though. Run away from me. They reach a crossroads, which is to say that they reach a crucial point where they must make a decision. The darkness descends at this point and they run towards a blue light. Now, this blue light might be referring to the butterflies, which are blue and kind of shimmery, but it makes me think of TXT's references to magic since they refer to it as blue in their lyrics. So I'm assuming this blue light has something to do with magic in G-Friend's case as well. I also think this light has to do with the labyrinth itself since in the second teaser we got, we see them in the center of what looks like a hedge maze. So the blue light likely leads them to the center. Also, something interesting in this tale video is that where they're running, they seem to be dressed in different eras clothing. I wonder if this specifically depicts the timing that the girls get lost in the maze. And if so, can we look at this maze as a sort of metaphor for the mind? They just had to make a decision. Is it them making a decision on what's right or wrong? Which direction is the right way to go? When they come to the apple tree, I feel like the apple itself is meant to represent the powers they have. It shows the temptations to solve their problems easily, possibly with magic. Even the way they phrase it in the video has me a bit suspicious. They really want to sell us on this apple. Also, the apple calling out to Una with a beautiful song makes me think that it is the siren that we should be weary of. I also think this might tie to the glass beads since it's heavily implied that that's something that Una is very envious of. In the first teaser, we see a darker side of this music video. It starts out with Yaren in the same outfit as the tail video, so if we go off of my previous idea, she was the last person to enter the labyrinth, and notably the only one that we actually see falling. We also see a flower petal falling into some sort of red liquid, wine perhaps, which leaves a very ritual-like feeling to me. 
And flowers seem really important here too, since they're seen a lot in this teaser. Una swallows what looks like a viola or a pansy flower, which are very closely related. Interestingly, this flower made a major appearance in the TXT Eternally music video, with it even turning into a skull resembling their witch in the TXT storyline. It's hard to say if this means something like death or that the magic is bad, but if we assume these stories take place in the same universe, it might not be a good thing that she's eating a possible death flower. The other girls aren't eating their flowers, but they do seem to come very close. Flowers also might have something to do with Shinbi, as she is the one seen with a flower in fingertip where it shows what their powers are. She also happens to be standing on the table here, and interestingly, she is the one with bright red apple-colored hair. In my previous video about this comeback, I mentioned the speculation that Yuju is the siren, and thus she is the one who is manipulating the others. But here, it almost seems like the other way around. And this makes me wonder if this teaser is actually showing us the mirror world, or the one that Yuju is trapped in. Part of me thinks that the original G-Friend universe actually had their apple tree cut down, as may be shown in the Time for the Moon Knight. A lot of people believed that this was a grave of some sort, maybe for Una, who seems to be acting strangely or straight up missing in scenes in that music video, but I always found the location really odd. It's not like it's in a graveyard or anything. It's in a forest, yet the surrounding of this grave is like a bunch of chopped down trees? Maybe they cut down the apple tree because of its temptations. I find it interesting that Yuju is the one that ends up bringing the flowers to the grave. The scene after this is very interesting. At first, I thought they were braiding each other's hair, kind of like the Crossroads music video, but actually, it was pointed out that they're holding scissors, so they're cutting each other's hair here. Once again, very ritualistic. This brings the magic witch possible siren in the mirror storyline back around to me, and I'm really curious to see what this will be for in the music video. It's also worth mentioning that this entire teaser has blood, sweat, and tears vibes all over it, to the point where I feel like they might somehow connect. It'll be interesting to see how this plays into the actual music video, if it does at all. But this connection would make sense since blood, sweat, and tears was about temptation. The second teaser for Apple starts directly from the last scene with Una in the tail video where she sees the apple tree, and the whole video centers around said apple tree, showing us the hedge maze or labyrinth that I mentioned in the forest and the forest in the background. We also get a very specific close-up of Shinbi, again with her red hair to mirror the apples in this preview. G-Friend doesn't usually have like a main character beyond Una, but I wonder if we'll see more of Shinbi's arc here since she's also in the front when they're doing the line where they seem to be reaching reaching up and picking apples in their dance choreography. Additionally, the lyrics for Apple, as heard in the highlight medley, are Calling me, calling me, calling me. The world in me is crumbling. Sparkling crystal, come, come, come. Suddenly, my red lips want you. Come and dance with me. This seems to be talking about the apple itself at first. Then, the sparkling crystal sounds more like the glass bead, making me wonder again if somehow the apple and the glass bead have similar functions or if they're meant to represent one another. Along with all these videos, we also got a bunch of concept images for this comeback, which I want to briefly go over since they seem to add to the themes that I've already talked about. The first is these sets of photos called the Broken Room, and they have a couple interesting points. First is in Yaren's photo, where her apple has gone rotten while she favors other fruit, and written on her arm is the word siren. It seems like she's refusing the temptation of the apple here, seeing it for what it really is, the siren. Keep in mind, she was also possibly the last person to enter the labyrinth. Second is two things to do with Shinbi. She has a pansy on her shirt with a halo above it, different from how I previously interpreted it with the symbol of a skull, and I'm not sure what to believe in terms of her since she does have something to do with flowers. But also, more interestingly, she is Una's mirror from Crossroads in the background of her shots, and the only other place we see this mirror is in the group shots, where of course she is. And this mirror is broken, probably symbolizing their broken relationship as we saw in Crossroads. It's interesting that it's her who has it though. Perhaps she's still trying to hold on to their memories? Or does she have it because she's the one who ultimately decided to fight with Una, causing the mirror to break? I do wonder if we will see this happen or not, since this is the same mirror that was lying broken in the picture at the beginning of the butterfly effect video. The second concept is tilted, in which we get a very justice-like view of things. 
The main focus seems to be the scale, which tilts from one side to the other based on what is heavier. In this sense, I feel like we can assume the side that is heavier in relation to the objects is the one that actually means more to them. It has more weight in their life. When it comes to putting the members side by side with the scale in between them, it shows which member has more power between them, either in general or perhaps in regards to their relationship dynamic. It's worth noting that many of the objects shown are things that we've already seen, mostly in the Time for the Moon Knight music video. We do see a few things that aren't shown previously, such as Yaren and money being a super heavy weight for her, especially over the teddy bear that might symbolize her memories with members. I wonder if perhaps she has money troubles in the story or not. If so, it would be a contrast to Soan, who in Crossroads was seen either in a taxi or with a private driver dressed in fancier, more expensive clothing. It's speculation on my part, but it might be something to think about more in the future. This particular concept photo also paints Una in an interesting light. We see that the glass beads are very important to her, which we already knew to an extent based on how many of them she's collected previously, but she actually has used the butterflies a lot as well. So the idea of her choosing to try and go back to fix her relationship with her friends over owning more beads is a bit touching. She is also shown very out of balance with Umji, who seems to glare at the scale from behind her. This is notably the only concept image like this where they don't actually switch places, and it seems to be the one with the most imbalance. I think it's likely that Umji is jealous of Una and that she has a dark side that is beginning to present itself similar to the ending of Crossroads. I also think Shinbi might tie into reasoning here too. Remember, I said her hair matched the color of the apple. It might be because she signifies the reason Una might turn her to the glass bead instead of the butterfly to solve her problems. She provides the reason for Una's temptation, and we have seen them fighting. It's likely that they're going to be fighting even more. She even might break the mirror, like I mentioned. And as we saw earlier, Shinbi might have something to do with Umji as well, since we previously saw her holding the bear's arm. It's really hard to interpret these images currently, but I'm sure this will all make a lot more sense when the music video drops in a day or so. Yuju, on the other hand, seems to care more about those flowers. These are the same flowers that we saw in Time for the Moon Knight. Remember, I think that this is actually where the apple tree used to be and she might have ties to the siren, so this might show that she hasn't forgotten about the temptation that the apple showed her. Finally, the third set of concept photos matching the title track name, Apple. This shows super gorgeous images really making the apples stand out. I have two notable images to talk about here, and both of them have to do with Shinbi. Shinbi in her solo shot is actually seen pouring the silver glitter all over the apple, as if she can't stomach it without a silver lining. I don't think she actually wants the temptation at all. And in fact, the other photo I want to mention is the one with her and Umji, where it almost looks like Umji is forcing her to eat the apple. Remember, they have that weird dynamic with the bear. And of course, Umji is jealous of Una, so I wonder if her jealousy might play a part in forcing Una and Shinbi apart. But that's all I have for you right now. What did you think? What are your predictions for the music video? Are you as excited as I am? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications on to see all of my future theories and breakdowns. I'll be reacting to the Apple Music video, so be sure to look out for that as well. All of my social media is linked down below where I tend to post small things I notice or like little theories and stuff that don't always make it into my videos. My Discord server is there as well where we have a lot of conversations about theories, so feel free to join and chat with us. As always, stay sunny everyone. Bye! Also, Kai posted this TikTok and like he's saying it not only that you should stand G-Friend, but also he literally puts this apple in his album. He literally puts the apple in the TXT up. What? Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Apples in TXT? I mean, okay, okay, okay. I need to chill. I am okay.